called the Equina syndrome. Coda Equina syndrome is a medical emergency and it must be diagnosed quickly and treated urgently to avoid long-term serious complications. It occurs at the level of the roots, causing lower motor neuron injury. Coda equina is multiple nerve roots within the lower end of the spinal canal. You can see here in this diagram that the spinal cord is up, followed by the conus medullaris at the lower end of the spinal cord, and you can see the coda equina as multiple nerve roots beginning at the level of L1. The L1 to S5 peripheral nerve roots are inside the lumbar canal. Coda equina syndrome symptoms is usually bilateral and symmetrical. It will be a sudden onset of more back pain than radicular pain, and the sensation over the preanal area is affected. Coda equina syndrome usually occurs due to a space occupying lesion such as disc herniation, tumor, fracture, epidural hemorrhage, or an abscess. Central disc herniation is the most common cause of Coda equina syndrome. Disc herniation can be posterolateral, central, or foraminal. The posterolateral disc herniation is the most common disc herniation. There will be a nerve root injury. There will be changes in the sensory distribution and there could also be motor and reflexes changes. It usually affects the foot and the ankle, usually treated conservatively initially. This posterolateral disc herniation usually causes unilateral leg pain and weakness with positive straight leg raising test. Central disc herniation will affect the coda equina. In the cervical and thoracic spine, Compression causes involvement of the spinal cord and an upper motor neuron lesion. But in the lower lumbar spine, compression causes injury to the nerve roots and it causes a lower motor neuron lesion. In Coda Aquina syndrome, the patient will have back pain, buttock pain, saddle anesthesia, bilateral leg pain, weakness in the lower extremity, urinary tension followed by urinary incontinence and bowel dysfunction. Saddle anesthesia occurs from involvement of S2 to S5 nerve roots. These nerve roots provide sensory innervation to the anal area, the perineum, and the inner thigh. You will find reduced or absent sensation to pinprick in the preanal region from S2 to the S5 dermatomes, decreased rectal tone or voluntary contraction. What are the red flags that you see that tell you that you have coda equina syndrome? Low back pain, sciatica unilateral or bilateral, sudden sensory disturbance, bladder and bowel dysfunction, variable lower extremity motor and sensory changes. Early diagnosis is challenging. The initial signs and symptoms usually are subtle. It is important to suspect Coda Aquinas syndrome, and when you do, you should do digital rectal exam and test the preanal sensation. Get emergency MRI. If you suspect Coda Aquinas syndrome clinically, the MRI should be ordered and read urgently and the patient probably will need to be admitted for completion of the workup. If the patient have a pacemaker, you need to do a CT myelogram. If you suspect it, you get a study. Identify the source of compression in the lumbar spine. 
treatment surgical emergency with maximum chance of recovery of urinary and bowel function with adequate early surgery. Timing of surgery decides the outcome. Remember, the bladder dysfunction symptoms are the least likely to improve, so you want to do the surgery early. You will do early decompression with removal of the disc or bony fragments that's compressing on the nerve roots. It's very important. The patient should be taken to surgery urgently to provide the best chance of symptoms resolution. The prognosis for coda equina. There is improvement in pain and weakness. The result is less predictable for recovery of the urinary bladder and bowel function. If the patient presents more than 48 hours, there will be less than 40% of the patients that have improvement in bladder and bowel function. 60% of the patients will have chronic bowel and bladder dysfunction if surgery was delayed more than 48 hours. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.